Hello and welcome back to England at the World Cup and it has finished at the Khalifa uh, International Stadium. England 6, Iran 2. Very, very good performance I felt today. It was very different from how England normally start World Cup campaigns or start major tournament campaigns. Um, I think every goal scorer, it was their first World Cup, um, which was pretty good. As an Arsenal fan, Bakayo Saka scoring two goals, two brilliant goals actually, is a, is a, is a sight to behold. There was also um, Jude Bellingham who opened the scoring, and I was actually quite surprised that he started. Um, Rashford also scored as, pretty much as soon as he came on as a substitute. Um, and then Grealish tapped in a great run and cross from, uh, from Callum Wilson, who also looked quite lively as well. In general, it was it was quite pleasing to see because, as I said in the preview, normally when England start a World Cup, a World Cup or a Euro, we always seem very cagey and very kind of like nervous. And I feel like this time there wasn't really that there, um, which uh, which is good to see. And in general, I feel like we we played well. The one thing I will say is that I don't, I know people will because even the the pundits on. Um, on the BBC are creaming themselves over this win. And it's like, well, it's the first game of the of the World Cup. And yes, it's emphatic, you know, to put six goals past the team is, is not an easy feat, but it doesn't mean that from this, we're gonna win the World Cup. We're only the fourth team or third or fourth team to uh, kick a ball in this tournament so far. So it's clear out of the four teams at the moment, you could probably say England and Ecuador are the favourites, but obviously the Netherlands and uh, Senegal are kicking off soon, I think in the next half an hour or so. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's too early to really be saying that like England are going to win the World Cup. We haven't seen France play yet. yet. We haven't seen Argentina play. We haven't seen Brazil play so uh, or Germany play. So I think it's a bit premature to be saying, oh yeah, we're definitely the favourites because we beat Iran 6-2. But going back to the game, it was a very, very encouraging performance. Um, it kind of felt like the the performance against Bo- uh, Bournemouth, is it Bournemouth? No, Palace at the start of Arsenal's Premier League season where I wasn't expecting us to play very well and we did. And that's kind of the same thing that's happened here. So it's another encouraging start as I said in the preview the games are going to get harder from here on in so we're going to probably find uh, the US national men te- men's team and um, Wales a lot harder than Iran even though I feel as if you know apart from the fact that there was a lot of added on time in this game because there was an injury to their goalkeeper and for maybe five minutes or so they looked quite threatening but they once we kind of put once it was 3-0, it was kind of game over. Um, but the thing that was quite, yeah, it was quite, it was game over. And the thing that was impressive was the fact that we really did keep that pressure on and went on and scored those more goals. And it's it's kind of refreshing to see that Southgate didn't say, oh yeah, just stick with the 3-0 and we'll get out of here sort of thing. Again, it's another thing that he'll he'll get praised for, which is fair enough, but I still think it's too early in the tournament to be saying, you know, all, all the naysayers about Southgate were 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 incorrect and all this kind of stuff because we'll see what happens when we get further on in the tournament. But as of today, it's a good uh, a good win to start off. We move on to the USA on Friday on Friday evening, and um, yeah, hopefully we can go from strength to strength with that. But very pleased. Um, I don't think I've seen us start a World Cup like this for many, many years. I don't even think, you know, I think the last time I can remember, well, the only, the only, well, the earliest World Cup I can remember is 98, but I think that was probably the one where, where it, it was similar in terms of dominance. And that was against Tunisia, if I remember correctly. So yeah, uh, all good all round. I'm going to leave it there. I'll be back again on Thursday previewing the game against USA. So until then, take care and stay safe.